alliance talks are still at a deadlock between the KMT and Taiwan People's Party. The two sides seek to broker a joint presidential ticket, but they can't decide how to choose the presidential candidate. The KMT's camp proposes holding an open primary next month. Meanwhile, the TPP wants to decide using opinion polls. Each side is accusing the other of attempting to manipulate the outcome. The blue and white camps were to convene against Tuesday to discuss their potential alliance, but the meeting fell through over disagreements on how to pick the presidential candidate. The KMT insists on a primary, while the TPP wants to conduct opinion polls. The KMT has proposed an open primary with polling stations at each of Taiwan's 73 legislative constituencies. Voters must provide their real name, pass an ID check, and sign a statement saying they support forming an alliance to oust the DP. The primary would be held on November 4th and 5th. Candidates would not be allowed to provide transport for voters, and software would be used to prevent foul play. Meanwhile, the TPP has made two proposals for phone polling. One proposal adopts the format used by the KMT and DPP in the 2020 presidential election. Five polling organizations would be commissioned to provide 3,000 samples each for a total of 15,000 samples. Half the samples would be collected from mobile phones and the other half from landlines. The dates and organizations involved would not be announced beforehand to prevent tampering. The KMT's Jing Fu Tsong and TPP's Huang Shan Shan pointed out the flaws in each other's proposals. Collecting mobile phone surveys could result in a massive bias. The TPP gave us two options to choose from. One of them was to exclusively use mobile phone polling. Could that be because they want to take advantage of biased polling to put themselves in the lead? Why don't you want to use your primary procedures? Why didn't you use those procedures to hold a primary between Terry Go and Ho Yo Yi? But now that it's a cross-party venture, you want to use that method. And on top of that, to organize it within very little time. If you had proposed this method half a year ago, we would have said yes. The two sides say that each method would produce a different result, and neither side wants to give in. We'd like to thank Mr. Jin for attempting to do the impossible. It's truly been a lot of hard work. The problem is the difficulty of his proposal is greater than we had imagined and is beyond our abilities. Yesterday, we emphasized that we need to reach a compromise, but I think the TPP has no intention of compromising at all. I find that really disappointing. The KMT said a solution did not have to be reached just yet, but with no end to the deadlock in sight, it's unclear if a solution will ever be reached.